Welcome to this week's EMBN show. We've got a great show lined up for you this week. We're taking a look at taking your dog out on your e-mountain bike, some new bikes from Cannondale, and some fresh updates from Bosch and Specialized. So we've heard of bike drawing, of course we've got trail dogs, but how about taking your dog out for a bit of uplift action, just like Nick does with Susie here. Check it out, Steve out in the forest of Dean. Guys, I'm gonna show you this, this is Nick. Nick, did you get the e-bike for yourself or for the dog? For me. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the puppy called? Su <laughs> Her name's Susie. Oh, look at Susie. Yeah. That is, that's the first time I've ever seen, that's ah. fantastic. Now she goes on the back of the Ducati as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and the pedal board. So hold on, you take the you take Susie and all your e-bike rides? Yeah. So <laughs> we'll, I'll, I'll ride up to the top here now, yeah. throw her out the backpack and she'll chase me down. That's gold. Yeah. That is absolutely <laughs> gold. <laughs> yeah, she's my best little buddy. Yeah, and you can't beat it, can you? Oh, Nick, she that's... don't whinge, she don't want snack breaks, she ain't got flat tires. Yeah. <laughs> so how many how many runs might you do in, in a day with, with Susie then? About four or five. All right. Yeah, here, four or five runs. Um, and then I'll put her in a motorhome. Yeah. I'll, I'll go for a ride myself. That's, that's absolutely, yeah. that's one of the yeah. best things I've ever seen in these woods or on, on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, thanks so much. No worries, it's nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Cheers, man. All right, you take care, guys. Thanks, good study. Bye-bye. Susie, Susie. <laughs> Wow, that looks like a great way of saving the energy from that dog Susie to get to the top of the trail so she can run back down and get those runs crammed in. And of course, let's not forget our own in-house roadie, Dan Lloyd, loves taking his dog out for a ride. I mean, check out this action from him, even complete with flying goggles. Right, that's enough dog action, time to get in on some news. Well, Cannondale have just updated the Matera range with the new Neo e-bikes. You've got one which is 150 mil travel and you have the LT version, which is the long travel version, being 15 mil more travel, so 165 for that. Great thing about these bikes, they're available in carbon and aluminium versions, and they've all got a lifetime warranty on the frame. Power-wise, they're using the Bosch Performance Line CX motor on there, 750 watt-hour battery, uh, and the high-end Matera LT comes with a 1,000 lumen headlight for those night rides. Mixed wheel sizes on this bike, 29 are up front, 27.5 out back. And prices on these bikes, while well, the base model starts at $6,500, all the way up to $8,600 for that top model, which is absolutely loaded with high-end uh, high parts. And it's great to see those bikes coming in from Cannondale with that updated range. The dropper seat post on your e-mountain bike is one of those components that definitely is pretty weighty, up until now that is. Crank Brothers have just released a Highline 11 seat post, which is made out of carbon and titanium for your dropper. Now this is definitely a very lightweight option. Now this seat post comes in 60 to 170 mil drops, weighs 520 grams, and the parts that are made of carbon is actually the shaft, well the stanchion of the uh, seat post itself, and it's got titanium bolts up top, so keeping that weight down nice and low. Uh, this is cable activated seat post. It's got a hydraulic cartridge in the actual post itself, which makes it go up and down. And it's super easy cabling on this. You've got their cable drum head goes into the seat post, threads through, and you adjust the cable tension at the lever rather than at the base of the seat post. And that's a really nice touch. And price for this, well, it comes in at $399 without the remote. So it is pretty pricey, but a great lightweight seat post. Bosch have just updated the smart system on e-bikes with loads of cool new features. First up is going to be whether you want to use your smartphone as a display unit or the original Kiox uh, display unit itself. You can swap this out using the smart grip um, and it gives you a wealth of information right on your handlebars. Next is gonna be the navigation that is available on the app. Now this has all been updated, so it's super easy to find your way in a city or even out on the trails. Again, you've got all that information right on tap. And the last update from Bosch is the security side of their bikes. Now you can pair the motor with the Bluetooth on your phone, so only the motor will give you any assist when that phone is nearby. So if you move away from your bike, the motor will become disabled. It doesn't actually lock the motor, but it just removes the assist that the motor will give you. And once that phone is brought back into range of the Bluetooth of the motor, it connects and once again, you have assist on your e-bike. Meaning if your e-bike was to be stolen, 
then the motor wouldn't give them any, any assist and they'd just end up with a standard bike. So pretty cool update there from Bosch. And Specialized have also updated mission control with some cool new features too, particularly if you've got that new Mastermind TCU on your top tube on those newer bikes. First up, you can get all the information from your SRAM access kit so if you've got uh, the derailleur or the seat post on there it's going to give you the battery levels or what gear you're in also you've got a really cool function on there again which disables that motor from giving you any assist you have a pin which you can put in uh, which will disable that motor and obviously when you put the correct pin in it will come back in and also a motion alarm on that bike if it was to be tampered with an alarm will go off and the last bit of the Specialized Mission Control app update is the option to bring the Microtune feature up as your default setting. So Microtune is the ability to add 10% increases in power or decreases just using that plus and minus button on your handlebars. Great way of saving battery and really customizing that power of your motor. So great updates there from both Bosch and Specialized. Now I know you're probably thinking of where did I get this new jumper from? Well, of course, it's from our merch shop. We've got loads of new cool kit in there. T-shirts, race shirts, shorts, loads of cool kit in there. So be sure to get in there and give us some support by checking out the merch store. And I also want to mention about the Global Bike Festival. That's us out in the mountains, 16th to the 19th of June out in Sauerbach, Austria. Myself, Steve, and the whole GMBN crew and GCN will be out there performing loads of different activities going on. So if you haven't booked your tickets already, get down in the description down below, get there. It's sure to be one of the best festivals of the year. Coming up this week on EMBM, we have a great week of content as always. And kicking it off for the weekend, Steve is out at the Reva Festival, checking out all the latest tech and news from that festival. So that's Friday and Sunday's video. And on Monday, I'm going to be taking you through all the different ways you can take care of your e-bikes motor, all the do's and the don'ts. Right, it's time for Send of the Week, and this week we've actually got a bit of a fail coming in, then a conquer after. So this is Kieran, he's out in uh, Rotherham, he's on his Trek rail, on a bit of a technical double rock roller. Now, looks pretty sketchy this, it's probably a lot steeper than it looks uh, from this angle. Looks like you've got a bit of front brake action going on, and just washing out as you go off over that second ledge and going over the bars, but it's really good to see you get up from that, brush yourself off and go and conquer it. That's all what it's about here on the NBA and getting that stuff done. And also if you've got any other crashes or any clips you want to uh, send in to us on the show, use the upload service and the details for that are up on screen. Right, it's time to go out and about all over the world to see where you guys and girls have been riding your e-mountain bikes. We've got some great entries in this week, kicking it off with Mickey. He's got an in intense Taser MX Pro out in Colorado Springs. I mean, just look at that backdrop, just makes me want to get out there shredding on my e-bike. A little bit of night riding action in here from Pierce. He's got a Cube 140 out in Northern Ireland. First night ride down to Kodiak Corner in the morning. Whoa, look at that. It looks like you've got a super bright light uh, on there. Love a bit of night riding. Um, it looks like Chris has been out as well. Early doors here. He's on his Rock Rider out in Lady Cannon's Planning's Bike Park out in Sheffield. Got out at six o'clock in the morning. Um, loads of upgrades on his Decathlon bike there. Uh, looking really good. Some nice rock action. Uh, some more action here from Gary, Got he's out on his Trek rail, uh, bottom of Jacob's ladder, looking up on the big hills out in the Peak District. Took a couple of mates out for their first spin on their e-bikes and as expected, they absolutely loved it. And I mean, who couldn't with a backdrop like that? And last on the list today is this shot from Martin. He's got a Cube Acid 1 out in Norway. Um, trail season has just started here uh, in April, but I mean, that lake looks pretty frozen there in the background. Loads of new kit on his e-bike, ready to enjoy that summer season. But as I mentioned earlier, keep sending those shots in. We love seeing where you guys are riding on your e-mountain bikes. Right, it is bike vault time to see whether you're going to get a nice or a super nice on your pride and joy. And I'm afraid it's just me here in the set today, so it could be super nice all around. But let's kick it off with Patrick here. He's got a Simplon steamer. He's out in Ostringen in Germany. Just got his brand new bike. And I'm loving that shot. I'm loving the green on that top shoe mixed in with that backdrop as well. Bit of bench placement as well. Bit of an odd place, but I think it's got to be a super nice. Whoa, we've got a big 
brace of e-bikes in here from Kieran. I've uh, got a track rail, two track rails, high bike, and a KTM out there in South, uh, South Yorkshire, Rother Rotherham, out with friends, hitting some fresh trails in the woods. So loads of cool bikes there. Love a bit of urban mixed in with uh, getting out in the country. That's got to be another super nice. Next bike is in from John. He's got a e-bike rated stick holding this up. Steve Jones would be proud of you. Uh, he's got a 2021 Scott Genius e-ride out in Sherwood Pines. Bit of a misty ride. I think that's a nice from me. Next up is David with a Fantic. Uh, he's out in California. Uh, got two of them out for a ride. He's 70 years old and an 82 year old uh, out with him. So. Great to see older guys out there on the e-bikes, absolutely shredding it, loving that shot, super nice. Bit of quarry action in from Mark, he's got a Focus Jam Square down Rother Valley, Sheffield. Looks like an amazing spot to ride some trials. I'm loving that bike. Looks like you've even got a gold, uh, orangey gold brake lever on there to match your Fox Forks. That's got to be a super nice for me. And we have Tyler with an older school KTM Lysan 2.0s at home, tweaking his bike, getting some custom parts on it. I think that is a nice looking bike. It's great to see some of those older bikes. It's got the Bosch original uh, motor and stuff on there. It's great to see that still running. We've got a brand new bike in here from Manfred. He's out in Kirschberg in Lower Austria. Um, some nice color coding going on, on this bike. The rim tape, the forks. Graphics, the grips, got your Ergon grips on there. I'm loving that, and that has definitely got to be a super nice for me. I'm rounding out the bike vault with that one. And that is it for this week's show. Let us know what you think about taking your dog out for a ride. How do you do it? Put it in the rucksack, do you let it run along, or do you leave the dog at home? Uh, let us know. Get involved down in the comments, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the merch shop for all the new kit, and we shall see you next week.